Hi everybody! Hi my cousins and anybody who might be watching. I thought with the holidays coming up that maybe we should do a Christmas themed book. So I have How the Grinch Stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss. Have you heard this one before? It's one of my favorites. All right. Book doesn't want to open. Suck. All right. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. How do you steal Christmas? Hmm. Why does he want to? All right. Every who down in Whoville liked Christmas a lot. But the Grinch, oh, who lived just north of Whoville, did not. The Grinch hated Christmas the whole Christmas season. Now, please, don't ask why. No one quite knows the reason. It could be his head wasn't screwed on just right. It could be, perhaps, that his shoes were too tight. But I think the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. It's a small heart. But whatever the reason, his heart or his shoes, he stood there on Christmas Eve hating the Who's, staring down from his cave with a sour, grinchy frown at the warm, lighted windows below in their town. For he knew every Who in Whoville beneath was busy now hanging a mistletoe wreath. And they're hanging their stockings. He snarled with a sneer. Tomorrow's Christmas. It's practically here. Then he growled. <sighs> Can you growl like the Grinch? <sighs> uh, with his Grinch fingers nervously drumming. I must find some way to stop Christmas from coming. For tomorrow he knew. What did he know? Oh. <sighs> happening? What are they doing? All the Who girls and boys would wake bright and early. They'd rush for their toys. And then, oh, the noise. Oh, the noise, 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 noise. That's one thing he hated. The noise, 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 noise. So maybe we love our noise, but Maybe the Grinch is not a big fan. Look at all those things that make noise. Do a lot of your toys make noises? Then the Who's, young and old, would sit down to a feast. And they'd feast. And they'd feast. And they'd feast, 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 feast. They would feast on Who Pudding and rare Who Roast Beast which was something the Grinch couldn't stand in the least. Did everybody, do you have something special you eat on Christmas? My family always eats manapua and wontons and cheese curds. <laughs> A wide range of things. And then they do something he liked least of all. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, would stand close together with Christmas bells ringing. They'd stand hand in hand, and the Who's would start singing. They'd sing, and they'd sing, and they'd sing, 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 sing. Ugh. And the more the Grinch thought of this Who Christmas sing, the more the Grinch thought, I must stop this whole thing. Why, for 53 years I've put up with this now. I must stop this Christmas from coming. But how? But he's singing. How do you think he's going to try and stop Christmas? <sighs> then he got an idea. An awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. Do you think it's going to be a good idea or a naughty idea? No. I know just what to do, the Grinch laughed in his throat, and he made a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat. 
and he chuckled and clucked, what a great grinchy trick. With his coat, or sorry, with his coat and his hat, I look just like St. Nick. Does he look like St. Nick? <laughs> Maybe not what I've seen. All I need is a reindeer. The Grinch looked around. But since reindeer are scarce, there was none to be found. Did that stop the old Grinch? No, the Grinch simply said. If I can't find a reindeer, I'll make one instead. So he called his dog Max. Then he took some red thread. And he tied a big horn on the top of his head. How do you think Max feels about this whole thing? Does he seem on board with it? Oh, then he loaded some bags and some old empty sacks on a ramshackle sleigh, and he hitched up old Max. What's he going to do with those bags? Then the Grinch said, Giddy up! And the sleigh started down to the homes where the Who's lay a snooze in the town. All the windows were dark, quiet snow filled the air. All the who's were all dreaming sweet dreams without care. When he came to the first little house on the square. This is stop number one, the old Grinchy Claws hissed. And he climbed er, climbed to the roof, empty bags in his fist. This is J.P. Who. What's he going to do in the house, what do you think? Then he slid down the chimney, a rather tight pinch. But if Santa could do it, then so could the Grinch. He got stuck only once for a moment or two. <gasps> then he stuck out his head, out of the fireplace flew. Were the little who stockings all hung in a row? These stockings, he grinned, are the first things to go. What's he doing? They're all sleeping. He's taking their stuff. Such a naughty Grinch. Then he slithered and slunk with a smile most unpleasant around the whole room, and he took every present. Pop guns and bicycles, roller skates, drums, checkerboards, tricycles, popcorn, and plums. And he stuffed them in bags. Then the Grinch, very nimbly, stuffed all the bags one by one up the chimney. Oh my goodness. Then he slunk to the ice box. That's an old way to say refrigerator. He called it an ice box. He took the who's feast. He took the who pudding. He took the roast beast. He cleaned out that ice box as quick as a flash. Why? That Grinch even took their last can of who hash. Everything. Everything. Then he stuffed all the, all the food up the chimney with glee. And now, grinned the Grinch, I will stuff up the tree. It's their last thing. Then the Grinch... <laughs> then the Grinch grabbed the tree and he started to shove. Then he, when he heard a small sound, the coo of a dove, he turned around so fast that he saw a small who. <gasps> Little Cindy Lou Who, who was not more than two. The Grinch had been caught by this tiny who daughter, who got out of bed for a cup of cold water. She stared at the Grinch and said, Sandy Claus, why? Why are you taking our Christmas tree? Why? What do you think he's going to say? But you know that old Grinch was so smart and so slick, he thought up a lie, and he thought it up quick. Why, my sweet little tot? The fake Santa Claus lied. There's a light on this tree that won't light on one side. So I'm taking it home to my workshop, my dear. 
I'll fix it up there, and I'll bring it back here. And his fib fooled the child. Then he patted her head, and he got her a drink, and he sent her to bed. And when Cindy Lou Who went to bed with her cup, he went to the chimney, and he stuffed the tree up. Oh, my goodness. Then the last thing he took was the log for their fire. Then he went up the chimney himself, the old liar. On their walls he left nothing but hooks and some wire. And the one speck of food that he left in the house was a crumb that was even too small for a mouse. The mouse is like, I can't even eat that. Imagine how small that must be. Then he did the same thing to the other who houses, leaving crumbs much too small for the other who mouses. Wow. He's very thorough, isn't he? <gasps> look at all that stuff. And look who has to pull it. Look at him. Poor Max. It was quarter past dawn, all the who's still a bed, all the who's still a snooze when he packed up his sled. Packed it up with their presents, the ribbons, the wrappings, the tags and the tinsel, the trimmings, the trappings. Everything. What's he gonna do with it? 3,000 feet up, up the side of Mount Crumpet, he rode with his load to the tip top to dump it. Poo poo to the who's, he was grinchously humming. They're finding out now that no Christmas is coming. They're just waking up. I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open a minute or two. Then the who's down in Whoville will all cry, boo-hoo. He does not seem sorry at all, does he? What would you do if you woke up and discovered all of your Christmas holiday things were gone? What would you do? That's a noise, grinned the Grinch, that I simply must hear. Then he paused, and the Grinch put his hand to his ear, and he did hear a sound. Rising over the snow, it started low, then it started to grow. What do you think it is? Is it the boohooing that he's expecting? But the sound wasn't sad. Why, the sound sounded merry. It couldn't be so. But it was merry. Very. He stared down at Whoville. The Grinch popped his eyes. <gasps> then he shook. What he saw was a shocking surprise. What did he see? <sighs> Every Who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, was singing without any presents at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or other, it came just the same. Wow. And the Grinch, with his Grinch feet ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could this be so? It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. And he puzzled three hours till his puzzler was sore. Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't thought before. Maybe Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. And what happened then? 
Well, in Whoville, they say, that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. And the minute his heart didn't feel quite so tight, he whizzed with his load through the bright morning light. And he brought back the toys and the food for the feast, and he... He himself, the Grinch, carved the roast beast. Wow. So what did he learn? What did the Grinch learn? That Christmas, Christmas isn't all about presents and decorations. What does it mean? What's it mean to you? Think about it. All right. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful holiday with everybody, your family and your friends and all the love and the magic. I'll see you next time. Bye.